Good morning, it's Charla Robinson, President of the Thunder Bay Chamber of Commerce, here with a quick update on the Stage 3 reopening plan that was announced by Premier Ford yesterday. So as I'm sure everyone has heard, the uh, Stage 3 will start this Friday, July the 17th. Uh, but, but this doesn't mean that things are going back to normal. I think it's important for us all to realize that there will be specific and significant uh, restrictions continuing in place relating to physical distancing and, uh, and other hygiene uh, pieces to ensure that we can all stay safe. So let's go through some of the key items that were announced yesterday. Indoor gathering limits will increase to a maximum of 50 people. So this refers to any kind of event that's happening indoors. So whether that is uh, in a conference uh, meeting or whether that is um, in a casino, bingo hall, those kinds of things, uh, the 50 person limit will apply. Outdoor gathering limits will increase to 100 people. So, uh, but, but they are definitely making it clear that you cannot uh, Try to bend the rules by having an indoor outdoor activity and and trying to uh, use the hundred people rule if your event has an indoor outdoor uh, hybrid then the limit of 50 remains in place because of the indoor connection um, in all cases every business every sector physical distancing of two meters does remain a mandatory uh, activity. So every business has to make sure that those steps are in place to set up uh, the appropriate, whether it's signage, whether it's barriers to direct traffic, um, or if it's in your office to make sure that your staff are appropriately distanced uh, from in their desks and in their work areas. A um, couple of other pieces to note. So in the gathering limits, the people who are working do not count towards those gathering limits. So uh, that refers to if you're, uh, say, in a hotel meeting room, the folks that are serving the coffee do not count towards the 50 person maximum. So that's important to note. Uh, and of course, we'll, we'll ensure that you can actually have the full 50 people in your indoor uh, activity that you're planning. There are a lot of rules that are identified by sector on the uh, government's website, and I certainly encourage everyone to take a look at at what those uh, what those specific rules are. But generally, over the overarching piece is the same. We're going to continue to uh, maintain physical distancing of two meters. The social circles of 10 people will remain in place for the long term. Wearing a face covering or mask will definitely help to allow us to stay in stage three and to continue to keep the uh, transmission of any uh, disease uh, at bay. So I hope that uh, many businesses will work towards uh, encouraging that amongst their staff and their patrons. Um, and the government is also still encouraging for folks to work from home or remotely wherever possible. So yes, we are allowed to go back to work, but each employer needs to take a look at what makes the most sense for them. Maybe rotation of staff coming in for an office type environment rather than everyone coming back to work. So lots of things to consider for us to make sure that we're going to keep each other safe and keep the, uh, the virus to a minimum of number of infections in our area. We've got all the links on our website, tvchamber.ca slash COVID-19. So definitely check it out. And of course, as always, give our office a call if you have any questions and we'll be happy to direct you to the appropriate information. Thanks so much, be brave and stay safe.